Okay, I'm simulating an H-bridge driver using the uh, PHET circuit construction kit. So what I want to do first is let's line up the switches so that we get current flow through the load from left to right. And we're talking about electron flow in this particular case. The negative terminal of the battery is on the bottom. So how would we have to line these switches up to get the current to flow to the right? Well, we'd have to line up this switch so that the bottom of the load, this side of the load, is hooked to the negative terminal of the battery. And we go and line up this switch so that the other side of the load is hooked to the positive terminal of the battery. And lo and behold, our light bulb lights up and everything's good. If this was a motor and our motor was designed to turn uh, counterclockwise with this polarity on the motor, then the motor would be turning counterclockwise now. So let's get it to turn the other direction. First thing we need to do is open up both switches and I'll show you why later. So now we want to get a line up so that the current's flowing the other direction. So we're going to line up this switch and this is a little slow right now and this switch. So now we've lined up the positive terminal to this side of the load and the negative terminal to the other side of the load and now our current's flowing the other direction and our motor would be reversing going clockwise. Now there's some things that can go wrong with H-bridges and we got to be careful and keep in mind that in a normal H-bridge we wouldn't use switches like this to make it, although we could if we had a uh, two a double pole switch we could actually have the switches set up so that when we close one it goes one direction and when we open that switch and close the other switch it goes the other direction. Uh, but usually we're going to use things like relays or transistors, field effect transistors or bipolar junction transistors to switch this thing. Now some of the things that can go wrong are having any two switches that take and short the battery out. If any of those two switches are closed you're going to have a, a problem. So here we've done that. Close that top switch. We get a fire on that side. If I close the switch down here we get a fire on that side. Now if we open any one switch, if we've only got two switches closed and we've got current going through the load, if we open any one switch the thing's going to shut off. And that's because we've interrupted. We've got two switches in series and if we open any one switch in a series circuit the load's going to shut off. But we can come down here and close this switch and what do you think is going to happen? Well really nothing because all we've done is hooked the negative terminal of the battery to one side of the load and the negative terminal of the battery to the other side of the load. So we have no net voltage drop across the load. We can do the same thing for the top and we'll get the same behavior. Close these two, same behavior, nothing happens. We've hooked the positive terminal of the battery to one side of the load and the positive terminal of the battery to the other side of the load so we don't get any current flow. H bridges are, are very useful and many times they're hard to understand and so I hope this helps you visualize how H-bridges work a little bit better.